one week left of the MLB season and a lot of these teams are still not even confirmed yet for the postseason. Let's hop into these standings and break down who I think is going to be in and what teams are going to be out. Now starting off with the AL like normal, I really do think Baltimore is going to keep their spot in you know as the first seed this season. I mean they have an upcoming series against Washington so I mean they win that. That's not bad. The Rays are still two games behind so they play Boston which they need to win and have the Orioles lose so it's going to be kind of hard for them to kind of get back in, in their spot and, you know they had a tough series against Toronto so don't really think it's likely anymore for that to happen so yeah, I do think Baltimore is your confirmed one seed now let's talk about this West real quick because it's getting pretty insane over here I mean we obviously know the series that just happened Texas versus Seattle Texas was able to sweep that one and they're on a five game winning streak right now so they're looking pretty solid into this postseason now they play the Angels for three and Seattle for four so if they're able to sweep the Angels I mean it's definitely possible they're gonna get that one seed or the two seed I'm sorry in the one seed in their division so definitely possible for them i don't think the twins will pass you know whoever gets that second seed it definitely was possible i think but i think they only have six seven games left so not anymore i don't think that they're going to be able to pass anyone so i think the twins are actually the confirmed three seed because you know they do have to win and have like all the other teams lose so it's gonna be very hard for them to, try, to even have a chance to try to pass them you get in this wild card obviously tampa is going to get that fourth seed i mean that's kind of guaranteed already now with Toronto, Houston, Seattle, very interesting. Houston and Seattle are going to play each other in Seattle, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens in that series. Both of these teams on a three-game losing streak, so that's definitely going to change in this series. Yeah, this is a big series for both of these teams. I mean, Seattle does not have an easy run. I mean, they play Texas, Houston, and then Texas again, so really not easy for them to finish out their season. Yeah, it would definitely be interesting to see where this lands, and I think I had Toronto, I think a couple weeks ago, I said Toronto's not going to be in the postseason. I think it's very likely they play New York coming up next, so I mean, that could be a very easy series for them at home especially. So if they get a couple more wins, they win that series 2-1, definitely possible chance Toronto's going to clinch the playoffs pretty soon. And it would be kind of crazy if Houston's left out of this whole uh, whole wild card and whole playoff situation because, you know, they're obviously the former champs. They, you know, you'd assume that they would be back in the postseason. But uh, yeah, hopefully Seattle can sweep them and get them out of the postseason because that would be beautiful. So yeah, looking at this thing, I mean, I got to go Baltimore 1, Texas 2, obviously Minnesota 3, Tampa 4, Toronto 5, and I'm going to go Seattle 6. I really do think Houston is going to choke. I really do think it's going to happen, and I want that to happen. So yeah, that's what you get for cheating. Coming over to the NL now, we know Atlanta is probably going to be the number one seed. The Dodgers will probably be the number two seed. Very hard for, uh, you know, the Dodgers to kind of jump Atlanta. You know, four games left. There's like, what, seven days left. So going to be hard. Atlanta's going to need to lose a lot. We'll see if that happens. Really don't think so. So I definitely have Atlanta 1, Dodgers 2. Milwaukee pretty much has the division. I think they have to lose out and then the Cubs have to win all their games and then they would be tied and then the Cubs would win uh, the tiebreaker and then they would get the division. So Milwaukee's probably the guaranteed three seed. I mean, they play St. Louis and the Cubs. So I mean, I think they're going to win one game, right? So they're probably the guaranteed three seed. I think Philadelphia is definitely the four seed. I mean, they have a five game lead. You know, they play Pittsburgh next, so it's really easy for them to clinch. They're going to clinch, I think, over the next, I think, two games, probably. Um, so, yeah, very easy for them to clinch. Arizona and the Cubs, 82 wins so far. Both have wild card spots. Arizona's schedule did get a little bit messed up with, you know, the whole rain in New York, and now they got to play, like, some dumb double headers, I think, against Chicago now. So, it's looking really weird over there for Arizona. So, you know, hopefully, you know, I'm hoping Luis Robert's going to come through with Chicago and hopefully hand them a couple of L's, which would be nice. Yeah, and then for my team, the Cubs do not have an easy run. They play Atlanta for three and then Milwaukee for three. They don't, they're not going to be home until, you know, for like two weeks, even if they go that far in the postseason. So kind of crazy for them. This is where I think they're going to choke, in my opinion. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with them. Miami, you know, they, they, they got to play the Mets now. So that should be a very winnable series for them. The Reds are playing Cleveland. So that's a very easy series, I think, for them as well. And then San Diego and the Giants are playing each other. I think both of these teams are going to be out, but technically, you know, they could win out. And there's some crazy chance that one of these teams could win if they sweep this series. So that's why there's technically in still. But yeah, it's going to get crazy. I mean, I know San Diego went on like a seven or eight game winning streak recently. Like they're nine and one in their last 10 games. So they've actually really resurged recently. And they still have a shot if everyone else loses and they keep winning, which is very hard. But it's definitely still a possibility. Same with the Giants. Yeah, it's not going to be an easy run for any of these teams, I think, in general. It's going to be hard, and, you know, we need. You know, there's going to be upsets. Teams got to lose, and other teams got to win to get in. So if I had to make my final prediction, we're definitely going to go Atlanta, the number one seed, the Dodgers, the number two, Milwaukee, number three. I'm going to go Philly, four. I think I'm going to go Arizona, five. I think they have such an easy schedule coming up. You know, they don't really have a lot of hard teams to really face, in my opinion. It's going to be very easy for them to win. 
And then for the last seed, it's really hard to say, but I really do think it's going to be Miami. I think Miami has the best shot right now to really make the run. I mean, they play the Mets, so I mean, they could win three games in a row. That would put them, you know, at 84 wins, so wouldn't be too far out. Yeah, and then after they play the Mets, they play Pittsburgh. So their next six is very easily winnable for all those games. That's why I think Miami is going to be the sixth seed. I think the Cubs are going to drop out. So yeah, I, th I think that's what's going to happen. I think the Cubs, the Reds, you know, San Diego, the Giants, they're all going to miss the playoffs because, you know, it's just, it's so hard to like think about that schedule and not realize how easy they actually have it. And it's hard to put my faith in the Reds just because they only have five games left to play, two against Cleveland, three against St. Louis. So, you know, they're all winnable games, but I do think when these other teams have more games to play and they're more winnable, that's kind of who I'm leaning towards. And we've obviously seen the Reds just choke to Pittsburgh the other day. I mean, what was that game? 13-12, they came back 9 nothing down. I mean, that you got to win those games. I mean, that's pretty embarrassing. So for reasons like that, I don't think that's why the Reds will make it or even do good in the postseason if they did make it, to be honest. So it's going to be very interesting. Last week of the season, I can't wait for all this action to come down. I'm definitely locked into a couple of these games we've been watching the last couple of days. And it's definitely exciting to see who will be in that postseason and, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be going crazy with predictions and everything like that and who we think are going to you know, make the run. And we should have a great upcoming week of baseball and then we head into this postseason and it'll be even more exciting. So if you guys do enjoy that, we have a lot of content planned out for this postseason and all these festivities. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.